Okay friends, welcome. This is Atisham again and today is the third part of our road trip from Madrid to Rome. And today we are driving from Avignon in France to San Remo, a small town on the Italian coast. So these are the walls of Avignon. We saw it yesterday. Avignon is a very beautiful city with all these medieval walls and, and there was like a music festival going on. So it was a nice lively town. The evening was very nice. So friends, our first stop from Avignon was Cannes. Cannes is famous for the famous film festival. You can, I don't know, it's Cannes or Cannes because in French, many of the letters are not pronounced as you know. So it was like 230 kilometers, two and a half hour drive through these beautiful highways. You pay a toll and you can drive really smoothly. Cannes is really a chic and glamorous city because of the film festival and the film festival is organized in a palace that's like a big exhibition palace that is next to the sea coast there. So we parked our car in an underground parking and then we strolled around the city for a couple of hours. At the exhibition palace, there was actually a queue of people waiting to take a picture with all the dummy film stars standing on top of the stairs. So we didn't want any picture with all the dummy film stars, so we just went to the souvenir store. You could buy the posters of the previous film festivals, very interesting. And next to the exhibition palace, there was actually a casino. And next to the casino, we had all the luxury yachts and boats parked. So I'm sure all the rich people who come to Cannes, they leave their boats and yachts here and then they go to the casino or on the boulevard and have a good time. So we tried to pay here and it looks like it says Two hours are free. Exactly. So the next part was from Cannes to Nice and it's around 30 kilometers only. But as you go slowly through these beautiful towns, you enjoy the architecture, the view of the sea. It was really one of the most beautiful parts of our road trip. So here you have the beautiful drive from Cannes to Nice.
so next after nice we reach monaco and monaco as you know is famous for its formula one grand prix circuit and it's an urban circuit and the formula one race happens in the city of monaco and i was also very eager to drive my car in this circuit but it was not as fast as you see in the formula one because it's full of traffic on a normal day but it was really a beautiful experience and again the scenery the building the architecture everything was so nice and beautiful so have a look at monaco now And we actually got lost driving in Monaco because it's all going round and round in circles and at the junctions there were many roads and because of some GPS confusion it was not clear which road to take so we were always coming back to the same road again and again so it was also fun to be there in Monaco. And around 15 kilometers from Monaco you enter Italy and it was also really exciting for us to cross the border and it was first time we were driving from Spain passing through France and it was first time driving to Italy and um, then we had to leave the main highway the autostrada as they say and go down to the small town of San Remo where we are staying for night Hola. Hola. ¿Dónde estamos? San Remo. Wow. ¿Dónde está San Remo? En Italia. ¿Y qué hay aquí? Un casino. ¿Y? Una catedral con catedral y una iglesia rusia. Una iglesia ortodoxa. So San Remo has one of the few working casinos of Italy and this is the beautiful building of the casino. So the night in San Remo was also really interesting. After seeing the modern part, we went to the old part of the city that is known as La Pina. And in the Pina, we have a very interesting architecture. It's like a labyrinth of old houses and the narrow lanes. And the houses are supported by these series of arches between the houses and they cover the lane. So it's like a network of tunnels between the houses and you're really going under the houses which are connected by these arches so it was for me it was like a big maze and walking through this maze gave me just like Alice in Wonderland feeling and you never know what turn to take and you were sort of lost in this network of arches and old houses So friends, I hope you like uh, all these experiences that I'm sharing with you, our road trip from Madrid to Rome. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please like and share the video also. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask. I will try my best to answer any of your queries about anywhere I go. So please be in touch and I'll try to bring more experience with you. Until then, hasta luego. Bye bye.